cracks in brick, cracks in block, sticking windows or doors, settling or sinking foundation, it's a fact. Foundation problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS. It's the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, April 2nd, 2022. A very nice and seasonal weekend across central Alabama with those conditions carrying over into Monday. Storms return for Tuesday and Wednesday, some of which may be strong to severe. Here's what I have for you in today's video. A trough with an associated cold front will move across the area today, which will bring an increase to cloud cover during the morning, but skies will become sunny during the afternoon hours. Highs will be in the mid-60s to the upper 70s from north to south. Sunday will be a much brighter day as drier air moves over central Alabama that will keep clouds out of our skies and highs will top out in the mid 60s to the mid 70s. While we will stay dry on Monday, winds will shift out of the southeast to south and will allow for humidity levels to start to rise across the area. Skies will be mostly sunny with highs warming up into the lower 70s to the lower 80s across the area. A warm front will move rapidly northward across the area during the late night and through the overnight hours. That will raise humidity values even higher and a few showers and some thunder may be possible over the extreme southern parts of the area before sunrise. A short wave will move into the area on Tuesday that will bring rain and thunderstorms into the area during the morning hours. The activity will mostly move out of the area by late afternoon and just enough instability may form with any sunshine that will bring a risk of isolated strong to severe storms for the remainder of the afternoon into the evening hours across the area. The Storm Prediction Center has a 15% probability for severe storms or a slight risk up on Tuesday for most locations in north central Alabama except for the extreme northern and northwestern parts of the area. Rain will be heavy as well during the morning hours and a few minor flash flooding issues may occur. There will be plenty of shear available, so for now, it looks like a tornado or two may be possible during the afternoon to evening hours. Highs will range from the lower 70s in the north to the upper 70s in the south. Believe it or not, the atmosphere will become more unstable on Wednesday ahead of a cold front that will push into the area. We'll have enough shear with those higher instability values to have a threat of severe thunderstorms with the potential for damaging winds and large hail. At this point, tornadoes are not favorable, but cannot be completely ruled out. The 15% probability for severe storms is up on Wednesday for all of north central Alabama except for the northwestern corner of the area. This activity looks to occur during the afternoon and evening hours and will be completely out of the area after midnight. Highs will be in the upper 70s to the mid 80s. A good bit of sunshine and drier weather makes a return to the area on Thursday as we'll have mostly sunny skies. Highs will be in the mid 60s to the mid 70s. Friday will be a mainly sunny day with cooler temperatures. Highs in the upper 50s to the upper 60s. That will do it for today's video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. Bill Murray fans can rejoice because he will have your next video on Sunday morning. I'm meteorologist Scott Martin. Have a great day, stay safe, and God bless. Cracks in brick, cracks in block, sticking windows or doors, settling or sinking foundation, it's a fact. Foundation problems don't get better with time, but they do get better when you call APS.